Hello, my name is Andrew Liu, and I am the Director of Capital Markets for CFI. I am excited to be teaching you this course on Math Fundamentals for Capital Markets. Much of what you do in the capital markets will be built on a solid foundation of mathematics, and after taking this course, you will be armed with the applied math to help you navigate many of the concepts of finance. In this course, I will explain what simple and compound interest rates are and how to calculate them. Then, by building on that, I will teach you how to convert values today into a future value and vice versa. Lastly, I will apply those concepts to help you understand what annuities and discounted cash flow analysis are. In order to make sure that we start from the same point, it is important that all of you are equally comfortable with some of the basic concepts of mathematics. We have three topics for you to get warmed up with. These are exponents, percentages, and solving equations. We have included some questions for you to download should you need. If you are already comfortable with these topics, please feel free to skip ahead. In this slide, we will look at simple interest. Simple interest is the most basic building block and perhaps how you would explain lending to a child, but it's also how most bonds pay interest. The formula for simple interest is the stated rate of interest multiplied by the principal amount. For example, if we consider a loan in the amount of $100, an interest rate of 5% per year or per annum, and a total time period of five years, the cash flows would look like this. In the middle column, you can see the interest payments of $5, which is 5% of the $100 principal, paid every year. At the end of the five-year term, the principal is also repaid, which is shown in the third column. The total amount of money one will get back for lending out the $100 today will be $125 in five years. Next, we will examine the concepts of future and present value. The key understanding is that the value of a dollar today is not the same as the value of a dollar in the future. For example, would you place more value on having $10,000 today or $10,000 a year from now? The rational person like me would much rather have the money today. The reasons for that are threefold. If I get the money later, I would have to defer my gratification from consuming that money from today to one year from now. If I were planning on investing that money, I would miss out on a year of potential returns. That is called the opportunity cost of receiving the money later. The second reason is inflation. The amount of goods or services I can purchase with that money will be less in the future if we consider inflation. That's a reduction in purchasing power and another reason I might prefer to get the money today. Lastly, if someone promises to pay me the money in the future versus paying me now, I also run the risk of that person either not being around or not being able to pay me in the future. We call that default risk. The preference of having that money today, unless one gets compensated for deferring the money into the future, is called the time value of money, or TVM for short. It's one of the central tenets of investing, that someone must pay you for borrowing your capital. Here, we look at how we express this concept of TVM in a mathematical formula. While we could simply use the table from a few slides ago, it would become very laborious if there are a large number of time periods involved. Future value, or FV, is defined as the product of the present value and one plus the interest multiplied by the number of periods, or the term. As an example, if you invest $100 today with a 5% interest rate per year, how much will you have in five years? PV in this case is 100, the interest rate is 5%, and the number of periods is five years. The F fee, according to the formula in this case, is $125, the same as it was in the table above. Reversing the equation above, you get PV equals F fee divided by one plus I times N, where PV is present value, F fee is future value, I is interest per period, and N is the number of periods. Using a new example, if you're going to receive $100 five years from now, how much is that worth today, assuming 5% annual interest? FV in this case would be 100. I is 5% and N is five years. The PV would be 